Okay. Tutorial time. Um, first off, I like to start with my hair up in a puff, even though I look like crap right now, so pardon that. This is after, um, it's the end of the day. It's almost, almost midnight. It's 11.34. But, um, yes. Okay. So everyone keeps asking where I keep getting my scarves from. I don't have, like, a particular place that I go. Um, I find a lot of them at places like... Uh, let's just say Charlotte Russe or um, Rue 21, just places like that. A couple of them I get at places like Walmart, which is where I got this long, wide one. But I prefer the long, wide ones that are kind of thinner. Cause this one is like a thick material. Let's see, what does it say it's made out of? Polyester. Yeah, and that's kind of really thick. Doesn't let your head breathe very well. This one, I don't think is, I think this one's cotton, I'm not sure, but it's really, really thin. I got this one out of a store called Five Below. Um, we don't have one here in town. I got this probably a few years ago. Yeah, probably like three years ago in one that was in another city, but it was only five bucks, so I like the bargains. Yeah, it's all about the ones that are on sale. If it costs more than six dollars, I probably won't get it. That's just my cheap ass. But, okay, so the long ones like this that are wide, those uh, do well for, for wrapping. Um, but I also like the big square ones, too, that are like this. I can't even remember where I got this one from, but I love this scarf so much. It's so cute. I think my mom bought it for me. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you one with the the big square one the square ones I think are the least versatile when it comes to how many different ways you can tie it there's only so many ways you can tie this one and to me there's probably like four I'm not going to show you all four but there's probably like four okay so this is the main way I do mine alright point it in in the front flat part the back of your neck. Pull the two pieces up like this. Pull them tight. Pull this piece down. Pull it as tight as, as your head will allow you to wear it because you don't want to have a headache or anything like that. Alright, take the pointed piece. Tuck it under. Roll it up. Up in there like a little burrito. Okay, so there's two ways you can do this. You can do a bow. And just do however big you want the little pieces on the side to be. You don't want it to be too big, I guess, like that. And then just tuck in the pieces that were hanging because you don't want those out. And they'll be all in your face. So, okay. So that's one way. I don't really like that one, but it's a way you can do it. Maybe you can perfect it better than me. Because I don't like that one that much. Okay. Other way. Twist this up like this. Gonna wrap it around that knotted piece that you made. Just like that, keep wrapping it. Wrap till you can't wrap no more. And then just tuck the end inside, just like that. And there you go. That's that look. Throw you on some nice big earrings, pretty color lipstick. Bam, you set with that look. Okay, let me try one with the other one for you. Ooh, I look crazy. Okay, the long one. Start the same way, lay it over your head like this. Except there's not going to be a pointed piece in the front. So, oh my nose is itching. Okay. Two ends, 
I like to crisscross it like this. And it's hard to get this one a little more accurate because of the shape of the scarf. But okay, so I crisscross it, bring it around, the back of my puff, and kind of pull that a little bit. Pull it to the side. Ah. Okay, that didn't pull like I wanted it just now. The scarf probably has like a hundred holes in it because like my nails are so long. I rip it a lot. Okay, so tie that like that. And you can do this. Or you can just do a bow if you want to do a bow. I like doing like a little baby knot. Tuck it in there like that. So that's one way. Let me do one with the other scarf. Okay, let me do one more with this one first. Cross it behind your head, like the results that you guys see in my photos. Like I'm literally getting ready for work, and then I decide, hey, I want to wear a scarf. Let me throw this on with what I'm wearing, and I'm in the mirror for like ten minutes, just messing around with it, just to get get it to look a decent way. I mean, I'm not, I haven't perfected it at all. I just, just experiment. That's all you gotta do. Okay. Let's see how this looks. I don't know. So, let me do that on the side. side like that and maybe have some of it still hanging out if, if you don't mind something being on your head the whole day like that in your face okay if not tuck it all the way in like that and there's one look all right let me do it with the last scarf and see if I can do anything different for it because that one's thicker it just seems like it might be longer as well I'm not sure This one is the one that I posted pictures of on Instagram. And this is how I was doing it. I just crisscross it. I don't know if it's because it's the material or it just looks like it comes out a little more turban looking. And all I'm doing is crisscross it. That's it. And then when I bring the last little part in the front. Tied in a knot. I mean, the, the stuff that I posted on Instagram, I'm like, like I said, it's just experimenting. So, more than likely, I'm not going to be able to do the same one two times. It's just, I don't see it happening. <laughs> just because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing each time, it just comes out different each time. Now, see, this one's cute. I like the way that looks. Minus the tag being in there. Be aware of where that is when you when you're doing the wrap. Okay, but yeah, see? Now I tuck the tag in. That looks pretty cute. Okay, let me do one more with this one. And this was the this is probably the only one that I kind of remember what I did when I did it was I took this and I kind of twisted it like this a few times to make kind of a knot in the front. I just twisted it like that. 
a couple of times. And then I took the pieces like that and then the back. And I think what I did was, I don't think I tied it. I think I did this. I took it to the side and tucked it. It was difficult to kind of hold that with my chin, but I only got two hands. See, so yeah, I tucked it. And across the other side, you do the same thing. Okay. Well, it looks better when you do it with the black one. This one, I don't know. It's not coming out the same. That's why I just said, Psh, I'm not going to get the same results each time. I don't, but that's just me because I'm experimenting with it. Okay, so, I mean, that doesn't look half bad. It's still decent enough for me to walk around in public and people not look at me like I'm some kind of retard. So, alright, I guess I'm just going to wrap it up here.